Hi, my name is Paul Seuss, and I would like to welcome you to the SICE Academy for Metrology. The goal of this tutorial is to learn how to use the Blue Path. It covers creating a project, adding CAD models, importing object data, the automatic pre-alignment of model and object data, creating a measurement plan based on the imported data, report definitions, starting measurement runs, documenting the measurement, exporting object data for further use in the STL format. At the end of this tutorial, you will be familiar with the operation and possibilities of Zeiss Neo Insights software. Now let us follow the blue path. After starting Zeiss Neo Insights, you will be able to create a new project, start recently created projects directly, or open existing projects. Let's start by creating a new project. Determine the information relevant to the project, then go to File and Save Project As in the menu bar to save the project. After saving, you will see the information stored for the project in the editor view. You can then import the model data into the project. The model function allows you to load and edit your CAD data. You can import your CAD data in the Explorer. This is where the standard CAD import formats can be found. The next step is to load the object data. In this step, you can load your object data in the same way as in the previous step. Two formats are available. The imported data can now be automatically pre-aligned. Activate automatic pre-alignment via the plus icon. The previously imported data is used for the pre-alignment. Click Execute to start the automatic pre-alignment. You can now use your pre-aligned data to start your measurement. You can now select your features under Measurement Plan. The Feature Detection function is available for this. This can be activated in the tab bar of the current section image. Afterwards, you can click and pick to select the required features. To do this, move the mouse over the individual features. These are highlighted in blue and can be selected. In our example, we will measure the distance between two selected circles. In the properties of the distance characteristic, we can determine the various distances via the result options. To document the created characteristics, you can attach a snap view image to the report to also visualize the results. Zeiss Neo Insights offers a convenient tool to display a nominal actual comparison. For a better view, let us switch from the quad view to the full screen mode. Analysis elements contain the nominal actual comparison. Select this evaluation and press the plus icon to enter the properties of this analysis. Click Execute to calculate the nominal actual comparison. You can also add a snap view image to the report here. Let us now take a look at the report for our measurement plan. Zeiss Neo Insights offers you a range of report templates. In our example, we will use the default report with the two previously created snap views. Here, we can define the scope of the report and the sorting order. We can also specify if we want to save it as a PDF 
print it, or use a combination of the output options. The program can now be launched. The Execute icon opens the Execute Editor in which the new measurement object is loaded and measurement run settings are made. Press the Execute button to run the program. When it is finished, the corresponding report with the set evaluations appears automatically in PyWeb Monitor. The report contains the results of the last run. In this step, the current evaluations are displayed on the basis of the settings made under the report definition. You can run PyWeb Monitor, print the results, or save it as a PDF. The completion step enables you to export your measurement object in the STL format. Go to STL Export in the Action Bar. Here you can create an STL file with the default information. Press Save to confirm and export the STL file to the path and name specified under File Name. You should now be able to create, run, and document simple projects and evaluations with SIS Neo Insights and export them as an STL file. Thank you for your attention and we'll see you next time.